Hello everyone, welcome to Arif Sir Science Hub, your pathway to success in edX Hello Level Computer Science. It's me Arif Islam. Uh, today we are going to talk about programming language and it's lesson uh, 5.1.1 and chapter 5. And in this lesson, we'll talk about low level programming language, high level programming language, assembly language, and compiler interpreter. So let's start. So what is programming language? We have to know about it before learning about the programming language, we, how we can define a programming language. So programming language is a notation for writing any programs and set of rules for instructing a computer or computing dev devices to perform specific tasks. That means for performing any uh, digital devices or computing devices, and it, it contains some uh, set of rules, set of instructions in the programs, and that should be written as a program. And definitely we'll consider it as a programming language. Okay, that means all the instructions, all uh, some set of rules that should be written in some language that uh, that will be considered as programming language so there are two types of programming language uh, high level programming language and low level programming language uh, uh, so programming language uh, it, it it has a term called programs so we have to know about the programs so program is a set of instructions or set of rules that, that, that will be conducted by the uh, hardware components. That means you, you will have some set of rules, set of instructions that will be executed uh, into the hardware, hardware components. Okay. So program is a uh, set of uh, instructions that will be written in a, for, uh, a form of language okay so we'll discuss about both low level programming language and high level programming language so let's see low level programming language so low level programming language is a type of programming language that contains basic instructions and that is recognized by a computer that means it it will contain a basic instructions or some set of rules uh, that should be considered as a low level programming language and low level programming language is very nearly to the machine code or machine language and uh, for machine code or machine language we know that machine only understand the binary uh, numbers that means binary numbers are the machine code or machine language or we, we can consider is uh, as e uh, electronic device if we consider uh, a computer as an electronic device then uh, it will on only consider uh, the zero or one that means the switch should be one or off so for cpu each instruction is given a binary code and the code makes some programs that means the binary code will contain some programs and the binary code re representing program are called machine code or machine language so you can see here there are some examples of the machine course or machine language like the binary numbers 01011010 those are the binary numbers and that should be considered as a machine code or machine language because uh, these binary numbers will be uh, uh, <coughs> understand easily by the machine or the computer systems okay and low level programming language uh, in the low level programming language we'll have the assembly language uh, assembly language is basically the examples for low level programming language and uh, there is a simplest translator for the assembly language it's called the assembler that basically convert the assembly language to the machine code or machine language that means uh, assembler is a translator that will that that will just tra translate the program into the machine code or machine language so you can see here on some examples of the assembly language like ldr r3 and uh, in the third packet uh, it's uh, r1 that means it will load the register r3 with the value of r1 so uh, the, the resistors uh, we basically discuss about the resistors in the previous lectures so you can uh, you can just uh, watch the pre previous lectures uh, the link will be uh, in, uh, included in the descriptions okay so there are lots of uh, resistors are there in the cpu so they will work in in different ways so we have to store some 
data or some instructions in the storage device or in the memory so there are some memory address memory locations where we have to store the uh, data or instructions so in terms of working uh, the cpu or the inter uh, uh, the processor uh, we need the resistor to give some instruction or hold some instructions uh, that must be executed for next time or in the phase decode execute loop or phase decode execute cycle okay so you can you can see uh, some short form that is used for the assembly language uh, and uh, those instruction is written as a short memorable keyword in assembly language is uh, known as mnemonic and the examples of mnemonic are ldr ldr it's a short form short keyword and that means load the resistor then str that means it will store value to the memory then cmp it's a short keyword and it means that compare the value with the memory and there are some advantages and disadvantages for the assembly language that means low level programming language so some it's basically same as machine code and the instructions that's the first advantage and it's easier to work with machine code it's very easier to work with machine codes in assembly language then uh, instruction are written as a short memorable keywords that means you have to just use the keywords for writing the programs or give the instruction to the machine or to the system okay but there are some disadvantages also for the assembly language uh, it's very limited range of instructions are available that means that that means you cannot give lots of instructions lots of uh, command to the assembly language uh, you have to use some specific or very limited range of uh, instructions or uh, a set of instructions and there are no string integer real number just binary so manually you need to convert uh, the integer the string to the binary form and then you have to store in it in the memory that means uh, you cannot store direct data to the memory you have to manually translate the data into binary form then you can store the data in the memory and debug debugging is very difficult for the assembly language uh, when the assembler program runs any bugs usually just make the machine crash that means you cannot identify what the problem is you cannot uh, troubleshoot the, um, uh, the problems easily okay so it's very hard to debug any problems uh, that is um, uh, made in assembly language okay so we we just understand the advantage and disadvantages of the assembly language so if you have any problem any confusions uh, in my lecture so you can uh, uh, comment me so i will give you the answer and you can join to our community in the arifsarscienceapp.com and we'll have uh, social media groups uh, on instagram so you can join also join there okay so let's see what what's next high level programming language so we already discussed about the low level programming language that means assembly language is the example of low level programming language similarly for high level programming language uh, the python c c plus java visual basics those are the examples of uh, high level programming language okay and the source code can be translated uh, in two way in the high level programming language first one compiler second one is interpreter so compiler is a translator that tra translates the whole program in one okay that means it will translate the entire program then it will execute uh, uh, and interpreter it translate um, and run one line by one line that means no need to uh, translate the entire programs okay it will translate for first one line then it will execute then it will translate next another line then it will like, execute okay so there are some advantages and disadvantages for the compiler and uh, interpreter so we'll see some advantages and disadvantages for the compiler first then we'll discuss about the advantage and disadvantages for the interpreter also so advantage of compiler uh, so compiled code run faster that's the advantage and it's translating to machine code uh, then compiler improve code efficiency by applying organizing techniques then error error checking uh, through analysis uh, analysis helps cache error before running the program that that means before running the program you can just find the error 
and security so compile code keeps uh, implementations detail and confidential informations and adding a layer of security that means it, it will provide extra security layers to the software or to the systems and there are some disadvantages for the compiler so compilation times so compiling mm, takes time while uh, which can uh, slow down the uh, development that means uh, you just write some program and you have to wait for compiling the programs until uh, the compilation is done so it it will take some time and delay that's basically annoying for the developments and de de debugging complexity debugging uh, complexity means uh, you have to compile the inter programs first then it will give the error okay so it's very uh, hard to find the problems and it's basically uh, uh, need lots of times for that then portability and the compilations may be needed for different platforms so if you want to run the program in different platforms then in, you have to uh, compile the pro program again and again and learning curve so using compiler effectively may have a, a stepper learning curves that means uh, uh, for learning the um, compilers it needs uh, lots of times so and not lots of hard work for that and resource consumptions compiled program may uh, use more memory and disk space that means you, you have to allow uh, lots of hardware for the compilers so that the disadvantages for the compiler and we'll see the advantage and disadvantages for the interpreter so what the advantage of interpreter so faster development for the faster development interpreter helps to the developer and easy debugging uh, for uh, any any errors or any problems is very easy to find the problems by the help of debugging portability uh, you can just interpreted code can be run in any platform which is a corresponding uh, interpreter so making it more portable and dynamic typing Dyn dynamic typing means many interpreter languages are dynamically typed so it's allowed for flexible and rap rapid development without uh, exploit uh, the declarations and memory efficiency so it will use a low memory and low resources for the programs but there are some disadvantages for the interpreter so it's slower executions so interpreter code uh, generally runs slower than com uh, compiled code because it's translated and executed line by line that means it, it will uh, require more time to run the inter programs and less op optimizations so uh, less optimizations uh, uh, means it may offer fewer optimization opportunity compared to the compiler and uh, dependency on interpreter that means uh, the need for an interpreter to run code can create uh, dependent dependencies and uh, complicated developments and less secured so it's not that much secured as the compiler okay so that's the advantage and disadvantages of the interpreter and com compilers okay so if you have any problems if you have any confusions you can uh, just ask me in in our community or in our forum in the arifsarsciencehub.com or you can join to our uh, social media group or you can just follow our uh, social media page and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and if you have find the problems comment me i will give you the answer okay so that's all for today see you in the next class okay so still then uh, stay healthy and stay safe take care ta-ta